So both of those companies are doing well. Um, obviously, First Republic Bank shares continue to slide. Um, FRC, we we're talking about this too. I, I always tell people, like, please be careful. Like, just because something is down massively does not mean that it has to recover. Like, the whole idea of buying a falling knife, and I need you to understand, like, it sounds great. I, I remember there's something that completely changed my trading career back in the day. And I remember that it was something as simple as like, what what type of chart would you want to trade? Do you want to trade something, you know, buying something that's down 50, 60, 70, 80 percent? Or do you want to buy something that's continually pushing up, you know, but you're not getting it at a good deal? And I always thought in the beginning of my trading career, I want what's on sale because if the stock's down 90%, that means I have so much potential upside. The truth is you want to trade with what's trending up. Like just because something's a deal doesn't mean it's like normally it's a deal for a reason. Straight up, normally when you go to like your favorite cl clothing store and there's like a 99% off rack, it's usually because people don't fucking want it. Now, I'm not saying that specifically with every company there are a lot of times with specific stocks where you get really good companies at disgusting discounts like shopify six months ago meta six months ago um all the other companies that we were buying six months ago like there are good times where companies are just insanely underpriced but i'd be careful with this like i said just because we're just because we're like you know down from 130 to 20 bucks doesn't mean it's the time to buy 